Hello again, everyone. It's Miss Molnar here to do some maths with you again. Let's see and take a look at what we had as a practice activity from last time together. Last time, I asked you to go away and make a two times table ratio chart. Did you play some of the games I showed you? Well, hopefully you've been playing around with it and you're getting really, really good at memorizing your two times tables with it. Keep your chart on hand today if you've got it because it might be useful when we're continuing with our two times table today. I've got a two times table problem for you today. There are four nests. Each nest has two eggs. How many eggs are there all together? Now, when we think about the different ways we might want to solve this problem, we might want to draw it out to help us solve it. So let's say I've drawn out my four nests and I've also drawn out the two eggs within them. We might also want to use our twos counters to help us represent it. Do you remember when we used our twos counters before? Just like that, one counter could represent the two eggs each. We also might want to write a multiplication expression to represent the problem. Four times two equals. So, now that I've shown you the different ways that we've been learning to represent it, how might we find the product? How might we find how many eggs there are all together? Pause the video and have a think. How could we solve it to find the product? All right, so the different ways that we could do it are, you might have said, we could count each egg one by one. We could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could also count the eggs in twos. We could count two, four, six, eight. We could also use a ratio chart to help us solve the problem. Or we could remember that four twos are eight. I'm going to show you how you can use your ratio chart to help you solve this problem. So first, I need to identify the factor which tells me how many groups of two there are. So I'm going to look on this side and see the number of groups of two. So we know that we have four groups of two. So I'm going to go on to my ratio chart and find the four groups of two. Okay, this factor tells me how many groups of two there are. Across from the other side on the table, this side of the table tells me the product or how many there are all together. So if I go back to four groups of two and I look across at the product, this tells me that four twos are eight. The table will help me remember that four twos are eight. If we can remember our time table facts, we can solve problems like this more efficiently. Now I've got a problem for you that I would like you to try on your own. There are eight bicycles. Each bicycle has two wheels. How many wheels are there all together? See if you can use your ratio chart to help you work it out. Or even you might just remember what the product of eight and two is. Pause the video and have a go now. Can you find out how many bicycle wheels there are all together? Okay, so if I'm going to use my ratio chart to solve this, remember, I need to look at the factor which tells me how many groups of two there are. In my expression, I know that there's eight bicycles or eight groups of two. So I'm going to go to my ratio chart and find the factor eight. That tells me that there are eight groups of two. Then I'm going to go across my table to find out how many bicycle wheels there are all together for the product. So the product of eight and two is 16. There are 16 wheels all together. It's much easier when we can use our table to help us remember what the product of eight and two is. It's much easier to solve these types of problems when we know our two times tables off by heart. 
Now we can see how important it is for us to know our two times tables so we can solve tricky problems like that. So to help us in the future, what we're going to do today is practice saying out our two times tables in lots of different ways so that we can remember them more easily. This way we'll be much more efficient when solving those types of problems. I've brought someone with me today to help us do our counting in twos. Harold's back again to help us with our counting. All right, let's count the socks together. One, two is two. Two twos are four. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. Six twos are good, twelve. Seven twos are fourteen. Eight twos are sixteen. Nine twos are eighteen. Ten twos are twenty. Eleven twos are twenty two. Twelve twos are twenty four. Well done, everyone. All right. What do you think, Harold? Are we ready to try it without the socks? I think so. Let's try it on a number line together. So, the multiplication expression will appear at the top of the screen and we'll say it together. Remember, we're going to read it as one, two is two, and so on. Okay, let's start on zero. Zero twos are zero. One, two is two. Two twos are four. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. Six twos are twelve. Seven twos are fourteen. Eight twos are sixteen. Nine twos are eighteen. Ten twos are twenty. Eleven twos are twenty two. 12 twos are 24. Fantastic job, everyone. All right, this time we've just got our two times tables in front of us on the screen with no number line. In order for us to be fluent and really learn these two times tables facts, we're gonna practice them in lots of different ways today. And Harold's gonna come up, is going to help us come up with some different ways to recite them. All right. Okay, the first way Harold wants us to recite the two times tables is in a whisper voice. Can you get your best whisper voice ready? Remember when we say it, we're going to say zero twos is zero. All right, get your whisper voice ready. You might want to keep tracking your fingers how many groups of twos we're counting on. All right, here we go. Two twos are four. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. Six twos are twelve. Seven twos are fourteen. Eight twos are sixteen. Nine twos are eighteen. Ten twos are twenty. Eleven twos are twenty two. Twelve twos are twenty four. Fantastic effort, everyone. Really well done with that whisper voice. Okay, let's see how Harold wants us to recite our twos this time. All right, everyone. Harold wants us to get our best superhero voice ready. Can you get your superhero voice ready? All right, everyone. Let's start at the beginning again at zero and get our superhero voices ready. Here we go. Zero twos is zero. One two is two. Two twos are four. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. 
Six twos are twelve. Seven twos are fourteen. Eight twos are sixteen. Nine twos are eighteen. Ten twos are twenty. Eleven twos are twenty-two. And twelve twos are twenty-four. Bravo, everyone, for doing your fantastic superhero voice. All right, let's try one more way to say it together. Let's see what Harold wants to do. Okay, everyone, this is my favorite way. Harold wants us to do it in a cool cat voice. Get your coolest cat voice ready. All right, here we go. Zero twos is zero. One two is two. Two twos are four, three twos are six, four twos are eight, five twos are ten, six twos are twelve, seven twos are fourteen, eight twos are sixteen, nine twos are eighteen, ten twos are twenty, eleven twos are twenty two, twelve twos are twenty four. Wow. That was great in a really good, cool cat voice. I wonder if you could pause the video and you can come up with some other ways that you can recite your two times tables. Maybe you're going to do it in a spooky voice. Maybe you're going to do it in a mouse voice. What different ways can you come up with? Pause the video and have a go now. Well, I'm sure you came up with lots of different ways for you to practice your two times tables, and I hope you can share them with a sibling or maybe an adult that you have around. What I'm going to leave you with today is a practice activity. Have you heard about the rolling twos before? Well, if not, I'm going to teach you how to do it today, and then I would like you to go away and practice it and show your friends or your family how well you are getting at rolling your twos. Okay, are we ready everyone? I think Harold might help me. So what we need to do is, as we say the multiples of two, the products, what we need to do is keep track of how many groups of two on our fingers. So I'd have one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, so on. And I keep going up all the way until I get to 10 groups of two, and then I'll have to start over to get 11 groups of two, 12 groups of two. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do it the first time, and then maybe we can do it a second time you can join in together. Harold, good as gold, let me see your fingers roll in twos. Oh, wait a minute, Harold doesn't have fingers to roll his twos. Sorry, Harold, I'm going to have to do this on my own. All right. Harold, good as gold, let me see your fingers roll in twos. Palms up. Three, two, one, go. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? 10, 12, 14, 16. Do you want to hear some more? 18, 20, 22, 24, and stop. All right. It's easy as that, everyone. So remember, you need to keep track on your fingers of how many groups you're counting along the way. Okay. So get your fingers ready. All right. Harold, good as gold, let me see your fingers roll in twos. Palms up. Three, two, one, go. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? 10, 12, 14, 16. Do you want to hear some more? 18, 20, 22, 24, and stop. All right. So you can rewind the video if you want to watch it again but I would like you to go away and really, really practice your rolling too so you can do it off by heart and maybe even show a friend. Thanks for joining us today again, everyone, and we'll see you next time.